Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody, and, uh, this is, uh, once again, this is gonna be another Gem to War vid. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to kind of announce a, announce a little tweak that I made to my, uh, current build. But before I continue on, let me, uh, intro this music real quick. This is gonna be Cobalt, The Curse of the Ancient Abbey, and this is Dungeons and Dragons synth. So, um, not quite my, not quite my first choice, but, uh, the stuff that I'm actually wanting to listen to, like some of the more laid-back acoustic stuff, at least what's showing up on the YouTube algorithm, is all copyrighted. So I'm I'm trying to keep this free to use. I, you know, because I want to be able to upload this to YouTube without it getting copyright claimed. So, so look, so it kind of limits my options. But anyway, let me let me go ahead and get this fired up. Hang on, hang on. I could have sworn I turned that off. Okay, my uh, my my sound menu, my sound menu is kind of messing with me. So let me let me fix that once again. There we go, much better. I'll probably have to turn it up a little bit from my end. Okay. Alright, so let's continue on. So, let's scroll down here a little bit. Yeah, I really need to roll this up. Still got to get a name for this thing. But, um, originally I had Boris Troll in here. Let me go ahead and pop him up. Yeah, originally, I had him in here. Doubles the number of green gems on the board, plus three. Uh, but eventually, kind of like I did with my other, uh, uh, my with my uh, previous goblin build, I been, ended up having to phase him out and put a uh, goblin shaman in his place. Um, when. I think uh, one reason why was because uh, same problem I had with uh, with Boris Troll. In order for it to, he's most effective when you already have a whole bunch of green gems on the board. So which is what I said yesterday. But the problem with that is is uh, I've taken a real liking to Mirage Queen's ability here, cursing all enemies. Because um, I'm leveling my elementalist guy here. One of his big traits is stunning, freezing, burning, and entangling a random enemy when matching four or five gems. So, which which uh, combos very well with this ability. Uh, curse all enemies, and then which, I'm just going to say, it, remove, it, it removes all stat, it removes all immunities, and makes their debuffs, for all intents and purposes, permanent. Yeah, I just trying to spare myself having to read a whole wall of text. So, but anyway, so like I said, Forest Troll has a real problem with this ability because after I use this, he basically becomes completely useless until if and when I can get a whole bunch of green gems on the board again. So he just he just becomes dead weight afterwards. But this is pretty much the same thing I said about my um. About my other goblin group. The goblin shaman is useful all the time. I don't have to wait on him. So. And plus there's also the uh, the guaranteed extra turn as well. So. And again, I've um and I'm, I'm gonna need to I think I'm gonna need to turn that down a little bit from my end. Just a second. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn it down on YouTube as well. All right, let me sound check it. I thought I had it loud enough, but apparently not. Okay. 
So, anyway, the um the other problem I have with this is um uh, if um I usually want at least 12 green gems on the board for this to be viable. Less than that, it actually becomes dangerous. Or there's actually um there's actually a point where it's actually it could actually be counterintuitive where you're actually helping your opponent out. Like if there was only like one or two green gems on the board, then this is basically a waste of an ability right here. Again, you know, you don't get any guarantee you don't get an extra turn with this. So And then um but when the number gets to about like around ten or eleven like ten or eleven or somewhere around there, then it actually becomes again it becomes dangerous to use because if you can't get a if you can't get a match four, your opponent's gonna help himself to your to all the green gems on the board, so you're you're only helping them out. Whereas again, you're at least with him, you're getting an extra turn. And secondly, I think I might have said this about my goblin video as well. You know, when, are, when you can get really close to literally filling up your entire board with nothing but green gems, that's actually overkill, big time. Especially since I only, I only have one main damage dealer now, this guy. And he, quote unquote, only needs 18 mana, so any excess uh, green matches are a waste. I mean, that it might, you might say that it might be helpful, because it will probably go really well with the elemental force, but the thing of it is, is you only need to, you know, you only need to put the debuffs on the enemies once. I mean, they don't actually stack. The only way you can, you can sort of kind of make them stack is by cursing them, which it, um, it refre it refreshes all their debuffs. Like, there's like a, I think there's a 10% cumulative chance Per turn, that um, that the the debuffs will fall off. But every time you put a curse on them, it resets. It resets. It resets to zero. So, so again, just to kind of kind of re uh, kind of a recap. Four strolls out. Um, he does not work well with this. And Gabi Shami is back in because. It's pretty much for the same reasons I said about my last goblin build. So. Okay, and I guess I'll go ahead and do a, I'll do a sample run or two. So let's go to. Actually, oh, who had it? Because I did, um, and I also I was also on the forums yesterday, and there's actually a fair amount of hate for the elementalist class. Here, let me go back. Or I'll just I'll pick this one. And again, I think I've played this team once before. Um, I think I got my butt kicked. Like, I just bailed out of there almost immediately. I mean, he got I think he he got a four match, and it just snowballed from there. So. But um, again, on the forums, there's a fair amount of people that are complaining about this. Oh my God, it's too powerful! They need to nerf this, you know. When I actually learned, there's actually an easy way to shut this whole entire build down. Stun. That's it. And recently, when I did my PvP today, I seen a, I just seen a pretty big influx of Titan classes. Um. Sentinel classes, and as well as elementalist classes, that uh, have this uh, have this uh, passive called impact. That means uh, any kind of dealing any kind of stun da uh, skull damage is going to stun me and lock me out of this. So you shut down my build just by doing that alone. So. So he don't have it. I think one of these guys might have it. Uh, no, but this guy here is bad news, though. Basically, if he can get this, if he can get this off, 
I pretty much call it. I'll just... Yeah, I don't see any, um, any stun effects. Yeah, so... But yeah, that... But yeah, that was it. And I said this, um... On one of my, uh, more... One of my other recent videos, too. None of these classes, none of these builds are completely invulnerable. I mean, there's always a way to shut it down. And in this case, something as simple as having impact as one of your talents. You know, and if I inflict any kind of, if I inflict any kind of skull damage, even if I don't, even if I don't do it, I, even if I accidentally, even, or even if I accidentally do it, I'm going to end up stunning myself. So... All right, I gotta wait a little bit for my controller to turn on. It's being kind of stubborn. All right, there we go. Dragons! Um. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention. Um, as per DJ Screw suggestion, um, I did change my banner. Uh, but I'll. If I can remember to after this battle, here let me uh, let me look for any uh, yeah there we go. Oh, there's one. There's another. All right, so uh, not gonna be much of a board blow. But I'll take it, and then um I'll go ahead and explain what I. Uh, what I talked about yesterday. Okay, so, and this is um, this is one one big downside to this uh, build here is I really can't, I really can't uh set it, I can't use it as my defensive team, because whenever another player attacks attacks my group, the uh, the AI takes care of the battle, and it's it's just gonna. It's just going to use this ability right when it comes up. So, very poor use. So, this is my this is my attack only build. Yeah, so I won't be able to use it for defense because this ability here, there's a certain way you got to use it. Basically, you need to do it in such a way that between um between skulls and green gems you have to, it has to either be a four match or a five match. So, like, so yeah, but like I said, the AI would use this ability willy nilly, just the very moment it comes up. So. So we'll go ahead and do that. Let's get the controller going. See, like right here. I got one right here. This is a four match. So. Boom! And explode the board, and you get a red five match on top of it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and um. Um. And why not? And why not? We got another four one. So. And again, each time I'm doing this, I'm cursing them. This um, this refreshes the um, the recovery times or whatever. You you, you kind of get the idea. And it brought them down from a hundred ish down to nine. So this is a pretty good single target ability. Now let's just go ahead and toss that out there. Eh, I didn't get anything out of it, but oh, and um, I forgot to mention too. For those that don't know. These kind of crystals here, or if you match these, they'll um, they'll destroy all other gems in a diagonal pattern. But you can only you, you can't do it with purple or yellow. It has to be one of the elemental colors, you know, brown, blue, green, and red. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It'll help towards recharging this. And it's up again. We 
Yeah, all I can find now is just a three match. So let's go ahead and cast that and see if we can get any more greenies out there. Nope. So we'll. Oh, let's check now. Uh, nope, that's just a three match. Same thing there. Same thing there, just a three match. And looks like we're gonna have to blow the board. And we got a, And we got a four match. So. And then, um, if you have, there we go, and then bye-bye. And then we'll go ahead and, eh, why not? And that's, you know, I just thought of this. I might have to go on the forums or go on Google and find out about this. Like, does, um, if you do a four or five match, Onto a monster that already has a bunch of debuffs, does it refresh it or not? Part of me says yeah, but another part of me says no. But like I said, I probably have to actually check this to be sure. If so, then then I've been in this. You might be dead weight, but no, no one, no one. Yeah, I'm just I'm just kind of muttering to myself right now. So let me continue on. So let's put this baby to bed. Plenty of black browns on the board. Oh, let's blow him. All right, set the plunger. Yep. Hear that? Ding. That means he didn't get an extra turn because he was frozen. Damn, we got a got a five match right here. This should probably kill him right here. Boom! All right, so oh, belly bob. Um, so let's find. Yeah, here it is. But yeah, like I said. Um, I'm starting. I'm starting to see this uh, pretty big influx of Titan classes now. And why Titan? Because of impact. Like I said, this this can shut down elementalists right here. So, and you know, best of all, you don't have to have some level hundred skill or anything like that. So you know what? Again, I don't... I'll, chances are... This, I mean, this is purely for demonstrative purposes. So, I'm not really... If the battle doesn't look like it's starting to go my way, I'll just bail. See? There we go. Ah, uh, my build has been shut down. So... And it's been shut down early, so if my opponent starts getting the uh, upper hand, I'll probably just end up quitting. Yeah, see, here we go. Yep, and they're basically going to do what I do, just faster. Okay, but anyway, um, that's going to conclude this video. Um, I just want to put that out there. So, but otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.